We'll use this wheel die to demonstrate some of the capabilities NX Cam has for high speed machining. I have a cavity mill operation already completed. This was used to initially rough out the shape that you see. In NX Cam, we don't make tricoidal machining its own operation. We add it as a cut pattern along with other cut pattern types. In this way, many of the operations in NX can take advantage of high-speed machining. I'll verify this operation so we can look at an individual level and see how tricoidal machining is implemented here. We'll look at the settings in a minute, but you can see that NX is able to make the tricoidal passes efficiently shaped as the tool moves into tight areas. Also, the tricoidal machining is used only to open up areas. Once there's a cavity started, it reverts back to more traditional machining techniques. The parameters for tricoidal machining are found inside the cutting parameters. Programmers have full control over the tricoidal loop width and the tricoidal step. Now we'll look at a rest milling operation. And as I verify this, you'll see that this is currently programmed using traditional techniques. It's going behind these ribs and the tool is probably going to break off in that situation. Let's switch this to tricoidal machining and then regenerate it. After the regeneration, we'll go to verification and look at the difference with tricoidal turned on. Here's our toolpath. We want to look at just an individual level here. Once again, you see how NX has correctly understood the area that needed to be opened up with tricoidal, but for other areas, it's switched back to regular profile machining. We're using a flow cut technique to create a finish pass in a hard material, so we really can't plunge the end mill down the sidewall here. We need to take passes across. So we've got that completed. We have a valid tool path. However, some controls now to use finishing techniques need smooth transitions. The sharp corners that you see would not work well. Let's look at a quick change we can make to facilitate the use of these advanced control techniques. So I'll go to my non-cutting moves and we'll turn smoothing on. This will be applied to the traverse moves in between passes. I'm regenerating now and you see that we now have smooth transitions going from one pass to the other. 